Hi, this is Dr. Satish Pawar, Senior Surgical Oncologist, Care Hospital, Hyderabad. Today, let us talk about cancer of the colon and rectum and its associated presentation and risk factors. So, this is the uh, cancer affecting the large intestine and the last part of the large intestine that is the rectum. It is the third most common cancer amongst all the cancers. The associated risk factors are old age and low intake of low fiber diet, unhealthy habits, eating lot of processed meat, significant family history that is running cancer running in families, history of inflammatory bowel disease that is ulcerative colitis, consumption of alcohol, obesity and lack of exercises. So all these are the risk factors responsible for this type of cancer. The common presentation is let us divide this into early stage of uh, rectal uh, colorectal cancers and late stage of uh, colorectal cancers and advanced stage where it is spreads to the other parts of the body. So most commonly patients present in pain with pain abdomen, blood in stool or there is a significant change of bowel habits that means patients either get constipated a lot or have loose motions so once you don't have a normal bowel movement then for a longer period of time you should suspect that there's something some problem that is happening in your large intestine or in the stomach so typically what happens is if there is a growth in the in the inter large intestine which is stopping it if off from passing stools smoothly so you will get something like a pencil shaped stool that means the stool the bulk of the stool comes down and it becomes like a pencil and because what happens is the growth stops uh, the uh, the passage of uh, stool through it and typically at in late stages patient presents with weight loss and fatigue that as the tumor grows, he will not be able to eat and the number of motions will increase or he will not be able to pass motions at all. Second sign is the abdominal discomfort or abdominal distension. That means if there is complete stoppage of the stools passing from below, so the, the intestine gets swollen and subsequently the whole of the abdomen or the stomach gets distended. So this typically occurs in bowel obstruction and obstipation and constipation. Obstipation means not even passing gases. So initially people don't, the person doesn't pass uh, stools and subsequently even the gases also get obstructed. So in such case what happens is it the food whatever consumed or water whatever is consumed comes out through the mouth in the form of nausea and vomitings. Second, and apart from that, tenismus is one of the major uh, uh, presentation of symptoms. So in tenismus, what happens is there is frequent urge to go to the washroom and patient doesn't pass uh, motion at all. So it is a sensation of incomplete evacuation. So repeatedly the patient goes to the uh, toilet but doesn't pass motion at all and he has to give a lot of pressure in the rectum to pass even a little bit of motion it is associated with pain and other symptoms are malina and passage of hematochesia hematochesia means passage of bright red stools in the uh, in the bright red colored stools and malina means tarry stools that means the blood gets mixed up in the uh, in the stools and becomes the the change the color changes from yellow to uh, the stool color the motion color changes from yellow to black and most of the times at old age patient presents iron deficiency anemia that means anemia the hemoglobin percentage comes down the rectal tumor or the intestinal tumor the colon tumor starts bleeding and patient presents with the that the hemoglobin drops and patient presents with iron deficiency anemia 
very rarely patient presents is presents with endocarditis that means the bacteria staphylococcus bovis particularly that bacteria gets you know uh, uh, gets accumulated in the large intestine and subsequently goes into the blood stream and into the heart hence causing endocarditis very rarely and one more presentation is a gas gangrene that means a, a, bac a bacteria called cholesterium septicus it gets accumulated in the large intestine and subsequently goes into the blood stream causing gas gangrene and other uh, very rare presentation is the ascites acanthica nigricans that means there will be black colored pigmentation in the neck or in the back or in the uh, hand or foot so these this is one of the presentation of uh, colon cancer and there is uh, there are spots like uh, completely on the back the you will get uh, spots and then it causes syrup seborrheic keratitis with associated with itching this is one of the type of presentation that uh, that we see in colon or rectal cancers thank you very much Thank you.